Okay, let's go from the top. We've got the C sharp minor add nine. And then the warp and bass line. Zero on the E or three to two. To make the F sharp 13. That's the three on the G, four on the B, open E. And then the warp and bass line again, second fret E. Four on A. Three on A. Two on A. And then the B7 sus4. Or B11, whatever you want to call it. So second on the A, second on the G, second on the B, open E. The walk and bass line again. Uh, open A, two on the E to one. Then open E. E add nine. It's four on the D, one on the G, open B and E. And then we have this. Bit of a stretch, G sharp, uh, G sharp seven. C sharp minor add nine. I'm just gonna pick that chord. But the two two bass notes between each chord. And then four, three, two on the E. Same as before, two bass notes between each chord. Bass line again, four, three, two on the A. To the E add nine. Play it real slow. Then we get to the main melody of the song. So we've got this E and um, fourth fret. And then the G sharp 13 flat 9. Um, you have the tab already. So I won't go into too much of you know where you put your fingers. of the verse so we've got the single note and then the G sharp 13 flat 9 back to the single note again C sharp minor 11 so I'm gonna make a bar across the second fret for this one and then put the second finger on the fourth fret for the bass note and third finger here fourth fret on the G and little finger there on the fourth fret of the B string at the same time and then the G, D and B strings and we have a you know where the little crosses are on the tab I'm just gonna tap the string with my thumb and I've got the fifth fret on the B and then I'm gonna pick that bass note and then the two on the four at the same time Down on the E string. So four, three, two, and then pick the um, F sharp seven chord. So there's not too much going on the F sharp seven chord. Just gonna pick. 
like the F sharp there, and then the chord, and then back to the bass note again, right up to the melody here on the E note and the E string. So then we come to the B7, sus4, A and E string at the same time, then the G, B and E string. note there, then the E string, then uh, 7 on the E and 5 on the B at the same time, and then 6 on the G, 7 on D. I'm going to come down to this little A shape here, um, D, G and B string, and then the um, he had nine chords. Well, let's just go through that again. Okay, so I'm going to the second page now. Um, so we've come to the E add nine. And we have this little turn around here. G sharp minor 11, and then the G sharp 13, flat 9. It's very quick, um, still trying to get used to this chord change myself. And then the, so the melody is underlying it within, within the chord, and then the 4th fret on its own, and then the C sharp minor 11. Before. And then we have this F sharp 13. It's a bit of a stretch. So, second fret on the E. Then, with my second and third finger, we've got a fourth fret on the B string, fourth fret on the E. Little finger comes in on the fifth fret of the G. So changing into the from the first chord to the C sharp minor eleven, and then this um, F sharp thirteen, B sus um, B seven sus four. Nine. Then we go to the bridge or chorus, whatever you want to call it. We've got B B minor thirteen. So I'm just going to fret right across the seventh fret. But then um, third finger goes to the ninth fret on the B. And then to the tenth. E7 flat 9. A major 9. So A string open and the 7th fret on the E at the same time. And then 6 on the D, 6 on G, open B. And then keep that chord where it is. You're going to go to 4, 5, 7 on the E. Then the D, D sharp minor 7, flat 5. A little turn around there onto the G sharp 13. Yeah, let's go back to the start. So there's the A major 9, D minor 7 sharp, uh, D sharp minor 7 flat 5, and then to the uh, 4th fret on the E, um, C sharp minor 9, there's a bit of a um, 
complicated riffing going on here. Takes a bit of getting used to. So for this C sharp minor 9, try and slow it down. Between each um, melody notes, you're going to add a bass note. Slow it right down. And then we come to the F sharp 7, but he sort of slides this first note into the second, um, first fret into the second. round off the bridge or chorus section with the 4 on the A to 5 back to 4 and a bit of an unusual rhythm again it doesn't really outlining that melody as, as much. But you know, it is there. So in between each so rounding off the chorus section um So each F sharp minor seven It's the same as before where you're gonna pick the chord but add a bass note in between each chord. So just to simplify this, um, the end of the chorus section. So the bass line is, is climbing up between each chord. F sharp minor seven, bass note, followed by the next bass note, and then pick the chord, four, up to A. To B, F B seven, and then finish on the the add nine. So slow it down. Then we have the, the little. Two to four on the A, two to four on the D, one four on the G, two to five on the B. And then we go back into the verse then, but the rhythm is a little bit more complicated. G sharp 13, 
down to the melody notes, C sharp minor 11. So the, the rhythm, C sharp minor 11, so you've got to pick that, the A and the E at the same time, and then all the strings in between. slow it down. Hopefully you can hear what's going on there. So A and A at the same time, pick the chord in between and then percussion. After the percussion, you go to pick the three strings at the same time and then back to the bass note on its own. And then I'm going to move this pinky finger up to the fifth fret then. And you pick that twice. So. to the F sharp 7. So F sharp 7, bass note and chord at the same time, and then just the chord. So So I'm picking the bass notes with the chord here at the same time, and then just the chord, then the percussion note, and then the chord back to the bass note. Then the melody, B7, sus4. So the A and the E at the same time, the notes in between, percussion note, back to the notes, the chord in between, then the E string, up to the, um, so it's basically a higher position of the chord that we're already playing. to the A add 9. Um, let's go over that again. Uh, the rhythm just does take a bit of getting used to. So if you just slow it right down and you know take your time and then we get this turn around again. So what on the second time we do on the F sharp thirteen. actually do any bass notes there. So you should be able to just switch between that chord here and then the complicated F sharp 13. It's to the B7 sus4. And then that brings us to the second chorus. Same as before, but just with this new rhythm. Um, down to C sharp minor nine. Um, here's the tricky bit. Down to the F sharp thirteen. 
and when he does those slap harmonics or tap harmonics, whatever you want to call them. So C sharp minor nine. And then you just I think he just stops that chord there. And then and then you're gonna hit the 16th on the E, 16th on the B, 17th on the G. If you angle it just right, so I'm just angling my finger there to make sure I get the 17, 16, and 16 sort of at the same time. To the the um, coming out of the chorus. And then it's the little key change. So the fifth fret there. All across the middle string. Seven to eight on the E, and then the same rhythm as before. And then you've got this really nice chord here, A13 sharp 11. So I'm going to use my third finger for the fifth fret on the D, little finger for the sixth fret G, second finger on the fourth fret on the B, and first finger on the second fret E. Should sound like that. And then right, right back up to the seventh fret on the E. Now that D seven sus four or D eleven sound, and then slide up to the the alternate position of that. to the G, G add 9, we'll turn around here, B13, uh, there sorry, so for this chord I'm just going to fret across the 9th fret on the, or make a bar across the 9th fret, and then I'm going to put my 2nd finger on the 10th fret on the D, and little finger 12th fret B, and then to the B13 flat 9, Seven. And then we have a nice run of chords here. So you can do the E minor 11, E minor, E flat minor 11, D minor 11, D flat 9, sharp 11. Yeah, there, sorry. So. This um, C shape here, C6 with 9. To B7 flat 13. Sorry, yeah, you pick the C7, uh, sorry, C6 9 twice. And then the B7 flat 13. B flat 13. A7. So let's go from the start. Um, and then to the A minor seven, B minor seven flat five, C six nine, D seven sus four or D eleven. to G with the add 9. So I'm going to pick the whole chord and then just the top three strings. It's A minor 7, uh, A sharp minor 6, to G over B. And then third fret on the A, up to the 
C major 13. And three melody notes there, 7, 8, 10. F minor 7, flat 5. To the blunt uh, bass line, 9, 8, 7 on the E. Let's give you the B13 flat 9. B13 flat 9. And then to the 7th fret on the E. And then we have this sort of B over E. And to sort of like. Like an E minor 7. And right up here on the. Um, to the A13. So that's 11, 12, 12. 11 on the D, 12 on the G, 12 on the B, uh, 14. Slide up one fret and then return it to the original position. 7, 8, 7 on the E. Then we round it off with this nice run. So then we have this nice run to end it off. So we're going from A minor 7. Minus seven flat five C add nine D five to G and then the same as before A little run five seven on the A five seven on the D four seven on the G five eight on the e, B and then again or well, higher up 12 and 12 on the A and D to 14. Then the next set of strings 12 and 14 again. And 12 and 12 again on the next set 14, 15 on the G and B. 12, 12 on the B and A. 15 and 15 on the B and A. 